Hello guys, today I want to talk about the Octane Random Color Node inside Cinema 4D. I'm going to show you two different ways of using the Random Color Node. So first let me show you my setup for the scene. I have a simple cloner with my coffee cup inside, and a plane. Let's create a universal material. Let's grab the Random Color Node and plug it to the albedo. Apply it to the coffee cup. And now you see that there is a variation between black and white. So let's introduce some colors. To do so, we can grab a gradient and put it between the random color node and the albedo. Let's simply apply a preset gradient. And now we have some colors. You can also personalize your gradient, so delete this gradient and add a new one. So the more those two values are near each other, the less color value in between you will have. So let's change the black color to an orange. And the white color to a blue. Let's put the orange at 33% and the blue color at 66%. Now we can introduce some more colors. Duplicate the orange, control plus drag, and put it at 33.1%. And change it to a green. Again, duplicate the green and put it at 65.9%. So we have those three colors and nothing in between. We can also change the seed inside the random color node. So we have something that we like. Now let's say I want to change the material to a specular material. First break the connection here and change the albedo color to black. Go to transmission, transmission type to specular and color to white. Now we have a specular material. To have our random color back, we have to plug it to the transmission tab. To have something nicer, let's introduce some roughness. That's it for the first part. Now I want to show you how you can add color variation to a texture. Here I have a tree. Let's say I want to add some color variation to the leaf texture. Go to the node editor. The two spot we need to alter are this albedo texture and the transmission texture. They look pretty much the same. The transmission is just a bit brighter. So what we can do is to only use one texture, replace the transmission with the albedo, add a color correction, and change the brightness value to let's say 1.7. Now for the random color, we will need a color correction node, pipe the albedo into this color correction, and then we also need a mixed texture. Now here, let's bring this into texture 1. Copy the color correction by holding down control, pipe the albedo back into this texture slot, and then we'll bring this into texture 2. Now I'll take this mixed texture and plug it back into the albedo and replace the transmission as well. So currently we haven't changed anything yet, but if we come to this color correction for instance, and shift the hue to the left. Now what we are doing on this pathway is changing the color, and if we click on this mixed texture, take the amount to 0, we'll only be seeing this first pathway. And if we shift this all the way back to 1, we will have the second pathway here. Now what we need is a way to modulate between these two setups and get a random value for each different instance. This is where the random color node comes in. We will plug it directly to the amount slot of our mix texture. The random color is choosing gray values in between and creating a gradient between these two color correction color values. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you have learned something today and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you on the next video.